in the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always and welcome to another New Year's, Happy New Year's 2022 edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the Mate, 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 huh. Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your soul brother. Number one. Here we go again. It's 2022. And nothing has changed. We will continue these redundant type topics because clearly we have not learned anything in order to go forward. So these type of topics, we go over and over again. And this is what happens to us when we do not graduate. When we cannot pass a test, we have to continue to go over the same material that we have studied for the last six months or year because we have failed to pass the test in order to go forward to the next grade level, to the next venture that we want to do. So here we are still dealing with these type of topics because we are not learning. I would assume that I am related because this picture here reflects a lot of the members of my family these persons represented here who would be called African Americans or black, the once called Negro in this country. Now, let's go back in time a little bit and I stand corrected. I, I don't bring nothing to us where I am the almighty. No, I know everything because I, I don't. I stand corrected. <clears throat> but in the beginning, for some, I don't. I don't hold to this narrative anymore, but. We're going to use the narrative. That we're used to talking from. These persons are descendants of Africans. And even if you say they are descendants of native people, we're going to go with these narratives. In the beginning, they came from tribe, nation, family, correct? And many of these tribe, nation, and family they did not associate whether they were Africans or Aboriginal. They did not associate. Matter of fact, many of them were enemies of each other. This is true. And then when they got caught up in the Arab or European, American, however you want to call it, slave trade, our focus is America, America, our focus is America. When these persons, Africans or Aboriginal or whatever, whatever their tribe was, whatever their nation was, it was destroyed once they became part of this slavery system. And this slavery system lasted over 300 years. And during the process of this 300 years, 
of slavery. All these tribes, all these nations, these kings and these queens, or however you want to say, they were destroyed. They were mixed. They were mixed, M-I-X-E-D. They were mixed. And they were raped by the Europeans. And as time goes on, all these original tribes, these nations, these kings, and these queens, they disappeared never to be seen or heard of again. And the offspring of this mixing began to produce, whether you like it or not, a new mixed people that was not of the original. Common sense. Unless you can show that the slave master, the oppressor, kept everybody separate from each other and there was no race mixing, there was no nation mixing, there was no mixing at all. If you cannot show that, then any other narrative is false. So, even to the point where we know that the offspring was sold off from one plantation to another, then we have the breeding farms, and not only do these persons no longer know of their original ancestors. They really don't even know who they are biologically related to because they were sold off one plantation to another. Mothers was forced to have sex and babies by their sons and fathers, their daughters, and it's all messed up. And then they would adopt other people who were not biological to them as a mother, as a father, as a cousin, so forth. And we still practice that to this day. I had an uncle Jesse. I was told he was my uncle. Come to find out uncle Jesse was just a good family friend. And we still do that to this day. We adopt good friends, good neighbors, as cousins and uncles and fathers into our family. What we don't like and we're ashamed of, we say that and don't want to admit and we ignore that we were treated like farm animals. There was no special treatment. We were our ancestors was property, farm animals. We were farm animals. Your origins is slavery. I know you, Shane. That's the reality. And then we were set loose. Our ancestors were set loose. Just like you would set pigs loose or chickens loose. And you turn feral. Now with pigs and chickens, they become feral. They have an instinct to take care of themselves and they return to a wild state. So in states like Missouri or Texas, you have wild pigs and they have learned how to take care of themselves and, all, and basically act like wild pigs, wild chickens. But we did not do that. We have no instinct to do that. They set the so-called Negro, they set the slave free. And we began to copy the white man. We have no other reference point to live other than the white man, the oppressor. There is no other reference point. We have no natural instinct to return to a wild state. And if you notice with feral animals, they automatically, by instinct, seek each other out and begin family units. 
the feral Negro, the feral slave that was set loose, failed to do the basic activity of survival by seeking each other out, creating family, which means you are creating a people. So there's a fallacy when we say or call the African-American or black people a people or the Negro a people. That never happened with us. You have a bunch of feral slaves, feral people, in individual groups trying to survive doing their own thing. You have a group of people or persons in similar circumstance, but they have failed to become family. Thus, they are not a people. If they were a people, it would be easy for them to unite and love each other and care for each other like you would see among the feral chickens or the feral pig. You do not see that. So we call the African-American or the Negro my people. I'm doing this for my people. We are not and have never been a people, just a group of persons in similar circumstance who have failed to become a people. This is why it is difficult to unite this group this is why they suffer from self-hatred. This is why another thing that keeps them separated is their religious belief systems and other ideologies. In these separate groups, they become, instead of becoming a people, they become or develop these small individual pockets and tribes and families that don't like each other against each other and they are like their ancestors because they were in tribes and families and did not recognize the common enemy they all became a victim of the common enemy and that is what you see in black people it is a fallacy to me and you do not see the behavior in this group called a people, but clearly do not behave like a people because in order to be a people, you must view yourself as family. You must develop the instinct that when you see somebody that's like yourself, that one is part of your family and you all stick together in order to survive. This is a basic instinct that you see in feral animals. The pig, the chicken. Animals that was once domesticated, now they are living on their own and doing very well. You're not doing very well because you're still dependent upon and still have a slave mentality. You still have a slave mindset in these groups, in these little families. And none of them have become independent. All of them still depend on the same slave master, the same slave master, his children, as the ancestors did 400 years ago. Because you have failed to become a people. You, We're called a people, but we're not. Our religion. Our personal wants and our desires is more important than the survival of a people. And eventually, these will go extinct because there's no strength. There's nothing to keep these together in these individual pockets. They will fail sooner or later. It's just a matter of time. This species is bound to die. I could be wrong. Let's talk about it.